In two remote villages in northern Darfur, the people gather to collect food rations. They've almost nothing left from last year's harvest, and what little they have will run out in the weeks to come. Two years of conflict and violence have left them unable to plant crops or travel to market. Their livestock has been looted or eaten. The supplies trucked in by the ICRC are shared out by the traditional village sheikhs. There's not enough food in the village, he says. The situation is not good. We can barely find enough to eat. Today's rations will last three months, enough to tide them over till the next planting time. It's nothing fancy, mostly red beans for protein and sorghum for energy, the bare essentials for survival. As well as food, the people need seeds and tools so they can cultivate the land, as soon as they're sure that the attacks and harassment have ended. Without this help, the people here would have little choice to face starvation in the weeks ahead or abandon their homes and join the millions already stuck in squalid camps dependent on aid. At Abu Shok camp, for instance, near the town of El Fashir in North Darfur, thousands of people squat outside in twig and rag shelters, waiting to be let in. This slum-like camp has doubled in size over the past year to around 90,000 people. Living in such conditions is a dire prospect, but for the villagers in some remote areas of Darfur, it could be this or starvation. The ICRC is increasing its food aid in Darfur by 25% for the remainder of 2005.